All right, our second envelope, Elon. Oh, okay. Uh, team one billion. Team one billion. Can you tell us a little bit what that feeling was like when you were on stage and announced a grand prize winner? Well, Emily, it was really an amazing moment because we have this passionate belief that EdTech is going to bring a fairer, a more equitable world for children. The XPRIZE model allows us as a community to be working with our partners, with ministries of education in the countries themselves and it allows us to build something that gets better and better and better. We're called One Billion for a reason. Our goal is quality education for one billion children by 2030. And that's um, linking with the sustainable development goal of quality education. The reason why educational technology is so powerful is because it adapts to the individual learner. If you can allow a child who needs to learn to read access to something very carefully constructed for about half an hour a day, maybe a little bit longer, we do see something magical happening. Our goal is that the child becomes a reader. We don't want the child to, to be able to read and never read. We want the child to become a reader and a writer. And the evidence from all over the world is that that is transformational. It's transformational for the child and for the community they're in, and indeed for the world. We're already working on a small scale in a lot of countries. So we have projects in Cambodia, in Canada, in the UK, in South Africa, Malawi, Uganda. We're making tablets now, which we are going to be giving to ministries of education and to some of the different organizations for them to try through partnerships with governments, through NGOs, through different organizations. We believe this not only is achievable, it must be achieved. The benefits, including health benefits, are enormous for the world. People sometimes forget when we talk about how important sustainable development goal number four, access to quality education, you know, people talk about it as if it's segmented away from other human rights. But as you're pointing out, these are all so interconnected. If we want to be able to have healthier families and safer communities and stronger economies, all these sort of benefits that come from having a literate and numerate populace. Okay, so here is one tab. It's light enough for the child. It has a strong bumper on it. The image is of high quality. We use a, a magnetic charger. It's circular, so it can go on any orientation. The other thing that this device does is it uses its GPS location so that we can make it work automatically in the right language. So if I take this tablet, even as it is now, if I take it to Tanzania and switch it on, it will automatically go into Swahili. If I take it to Malawi, it will automatically start up in, um, in Chichewa. What's the most precious thing? It's the child's time. The child's time is precious. We all know children grow up fast. We need to have children reading as quickly as possible. And the technology is an important part of that, especially for marginalized children. For one course, which is reading, writing, and numeracy, we have it in Chichewa for Malawi, we have it in Swahili, and then we are working with partners on what the next languages will be, and we hope we'll do at least two, possibly three, next year. The Global Learning X Prize was designed to be open source. Yes. There's a lot of questions about this. What is the use uh, in your mind of there being open code? Is that helpful for you? Does it dilute what you're trying to do? Open source allows access to resources and ideas and content that can be built. It's hard to just say how important this is to us. If someone comes and produces something in Malawi that's better than ours. We aren't disappointed, we are overjoyed. In the past, we've had many people say, can you do a project with us? Or can we use your software? And we've had to sort of say, well, we're not ready. We're not ready, but we are ready now. We're ready for exponential scaling. We've got to put our trust and investment into children 
They are the problem solvers of the future. They are the ones who will make this a fairer, a healthier, a happier, a more equitable world. We've said we need the data to show people that it works. We need to be able to localize into different languages and contexts. We need to secure the proper hardware. And then we need to have distribution to get it into the hands of children. The prize of getting this right is so great it is worth the hard work and commitment which we've seen from so many people. And I love to hear when you say we are ready to scale exponentially, that's what we'd love to hear, that we can unlock the talent, as you say, of the children around the world.